So this is the town of Innsmouth? This is Innsmouth. And the bus will continue its trip to Arkham at 8 p.m.? Yes. I leave on time. I won't be late. Where can I find some food? The Gilman House. I meant something I could take with me while I look around town. There is nothing to see here. Um, is there a local grocer's? Down the road. First National Grocer's. Thank you. I'll see you at eight. May I help you? I'm on my way to Arkham, but I have a few hours before the bus leaves, and I'm hoping to do some exploring before then. Are you from Arkham? No, I'm visiting some family there. Do you live here? In Innsmouth? Heavens no! I just work here. The grocery chain transferred me. If I didn't need this job so badly, I would have told them no. You don't like it here. There's something wrong with this place. Something wrong with the people. I, I noticed their peculiar features. Some say it's from inbreeding. It seems to get worse as they get older. Most of the older ones don't even leave their houses. At least, not during the day. I also noticed the pervasive odor of fish. Is this a fishing community? Ugh. The stink is everywhere, even on the people. The place is full of fish. For some reason, they seem to like these waters. Fishing's the only industry here. Uh, that and the gold refinery owned by the Marsh family. Is there a gold mine nearby? No. The Marsh family used to trade gold jewelry with the South Pacific natives. But I don't know where they get the gold from now. Maybe I'll visit the refinery and ask them. Don't. The people here don't like strangers poking around. Some men from the Census Bureau came by a while back. They went missing. Does that happen often here? Stay away from the refinery and the churches. They have their own religion here, the Order of Dagon. You can recognize the priests by their red robes and their strange jewelry. I think I saw a few earlier. Stay away from them. Seems there's not much left to explore. Innsmouth is not a place to be explored. No one wants to come here. Well, I originally intended to ride the train directly to Arkham, but the cost was prohibitive, thus my decision to take the bus. There used to be a train which stopped here, north of the town. But no longer. The railroad hasn't been used in years. Well, thank you for your information and advice. I'll go see what I safely can of this town. There's an old man. His family's been here for generations. He knows everything about Innsmouth. Do you think he'd speak with me? He might, if you bring him this. Oh. Oh, well, <clears throat> that hits the spot. <laughs> Go ahead and polish it off. Well, that's very kind. Very kind. <clears throat> so, uh, do you like living here in Innsmouth? Nothing should live here in this accursed place. But this is where my house is. It's been in my family for generations. Why? What's wrong with this place? There. That's where it all started. Devil's Reef. With old Captain Marsh. He used to sail the uncharted Pacific Isles and trade with the natives for their hard jewelry. When the fish disappeared and the town started dying, that's when Captain Marsh brought back their religion, the Order of Dagon. He and some of his crew went up to Devil's Reef and 
prayed to those heathen gods, the deep ones, they're called, who live in the ocean waters. But his first mate, Matt Elliot, stood against the captain and opposed this ungodly practice. He rallied the good town folk against Marsh. But their victory was short-lived as the Deep Ones spewed forth from the waters to aid their heathen allies. Nearly half the town was slaughtered that day, my father included. You don't believe me? Then how do you explain the way the villagers look? You know, the Innsmouth look. How's that related to your story? The Deep Ones moved into the waters off Innsmouth, but they needed allies on land to keep the presence secret. And there's no greater ally than blood kin. I... I don't understand. Oh, they started breeding with us. What? Oh, they're not as different from us as appearances may seem. That's too fantastic. Is it? <coughs> then why aren't our bodies covered with fur like apes and monkeys? Why are we smooth skin like dolphins and other sea animals? Why is it that we're born with the ability to swim but your little chimpanzees cannot even float? Look, we even have residual webbing between our fingers and toes, don't we? How do you know these things? They told us. For ages they have watched us, their descendants. The Deep Ones are our missing evolutionary link. If this is true, we, we should have some anthropologists look into this. No! They want to remain hidden. Any outsiders who dig too deep and risk learning of their existence, they never, never leave Innsmouth. Outsiders? Like me? Uh, over they're here. I said too much. I said too much! It's just the waves. No. You must leave Innsmouth. Stay in public places near other outsiders. They will risk anything with witnesses around. Witnesses to what? I can't go home. I must hide. I must hide! There's nothing there.